Hey guys, Brad Scott Photography here. And today I'm going to show you, along with my buddy Mike Brashear's photography, how to capture water splashing out of a wine glass with your DSLR camera. Okay guys, so Brad Scott Photography and Mike Brashear's photography here again with another tutorial on how to photograph water. This time we're doing water splashes in a wine glass. As you can see, we've taped the wine glass just to the end of a tripod leg. We've got um, my reflector. As a background, we're changing colors between silver, black, and white. And then Mike's back here with his camera on a tripod. Um, he's got his shutter speed reasonably high. Was it at, Mike, like 250? And uh, ISO is around, uh, you're, at, you're at 800. I was at 400 when I was doing it because I had my, uh, my flash, which is, well, you can't really see it, it's dark, but it's over there. <laughs> um, so we're going to see how this goes and we'll post the photos after. Um, just make sure when you're pouring it, um, we've got food coloring, so it gives it a little more drama camera trigger and the flash mine's a 60d so it's got the triggering built into it the wireless trigger capabilities we got mike's camera taking the photo and as you can see he's focused in on a nice crisp glass we've got the glass on the stand a nice little bucket to ca catch the water and splash the black background, the reflector, and then we have my 430EX2 in the Westcott Apollo, Mini Apollo light box. So that's our setup. Um, we're getting some cool shots here. We'll post them all, like I said, and uh, go try it yourself. It's super fun. So here's the full setup. Uh, we tried doing fast shutter speeds, and we tried doing... Uh, slow shutter speeds and we found that if you do a long exposure like a two second exposure um, and use the flash to just freeze the water you get kind of an overall crisper photo um, that way you can have your aperture closed a little bit at about f8 or 9 and uh, it turned out pretty good so here's the final photos enjoy and remember to comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time with another photography tutorial video oh, it's super fun all right, so here's some of the photos that we ended up getting. As, as, as you can see, they're super crisp, really interesting, dramatic looking photos. Um, a lot of fun to print out and hang over your kitchen bar um, for when you invite friends over for cocktail party or whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm really stoked on how they turned out.